Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you guys my readathon TBR for the Iridium. Now, basically, I did not participate the first round, so I've got a hell of a lot of reading to catch up on, and I've no idea if I'm going to get it done in time for the next like full and actual readathon because this one is only like a week long, and so oh, man, it's crazy. But yeah, this literally is running from the 14th to the 20th of March it's only like a week long but I have to sort like I had to sort my novice path my guild my conjuring my mission uh, oh just so much so I've literally <laughs> I've got books to go towards these and these are gonna literally be you know obviously completed by the next readathon so I'm just thought I'd let you know my TBR for it so the entrance for the novice path is to read a book with a map in it and this is great because i'm currently reading house of earth and blood book number one in the crescent city by sarah j mass and i'm a i'm a big chunk through it actually i'm like 236 pages through it i am reading this for a like book club as well over the next couple of months like february and march so yeah even if i just uh, kind of like slowly get it read like ready for like whether it's done in april or not it's totally unsure because like um g from book roast who is hosting it does have a lot going on at the moment so they're hoping if they can get it in april it'd be april if not then it'd be like i know may or something but you know there's no rush or anything so um yeah it'd be great to get this read and i'm really really enjoying it so far and yeah i think it's just you know as i'm currently reading it you know catching up with the iridium it'd be great to pop this on there next in the path is the ashton tree and that is to read a book that tempts you for this i've gone towards only a monster by vanessa len this i got from a bookish subscription box and it's been really tempting me the moment i got it in the box like i'm so tempted it's definitely going on my march tbr for sure so this is perfect for this prompt next in the path is mist of solitude and that's to read a standalone for this i've gone with my type and paper by chloe sager this is a book that's off my currently reading list it's my aim this year to get my currently reading list knocked down so that i don't actually have like anything that i'm waiting to read apart from what's on my tbr sort of thing so yeah this is a standalone that's on the currently reading list and it should be an easy going read it was really quick to get through the first chunk of it so it'd be great to get this one read next along the path is ruin of the sky so this is to read a book that's got ghosts a haunted house or supernatural sort of like things in it um and so i have gone towards mean spirits the first but this is a bind up of two books that's in the mediator series by meg cabot books three and four so i've put the third book mean spirits to go towards this it's literally half of this volume and meg cabot's books are really fast paced books i read them so quickly i adore her writing style i love her she's one of my favorite authors big time this is one of my favorite series ever and yes there's a ghost in it so ghost called jesse who is hot and yeah it's it's a great series like more people need to read it but yeah i'm looking forward to diving back into this series all over again really just next in the path is obsidian falls which is to read a thriller mystery i have put young blood the second book in this mediator bind up because in every one of these mediator books there is a mystery that goes along with it there's a mystery to solve and that's what i kind of like about these books as well that there's some sort of whether it's a small mystery or whether it's a big one but there's a mystery that's like either involving a spirit and yeah so that's why i put this towards this and then that gets this bind up completed next of all in the path is tower of rumination this is a five star prediction i've put this woven kingdom by tara murphy towards this because tamara tahara murphy i really have enjoyed like her writing style especially with like shatter me i feel like i'm going to really really enjoy this book to the point that i'm going to give it five stars i'm not really hearing a lot of people talking about it that could be because a lot of people are reading house of sky and breath but I'm hoping that I really, really enjoy this. 
and I hope that I do end up giving it five stars. We shall see when I do get around to reading it, what rating I do give it, so it's quite intriguing to see. But yeah, fingers crossed that I do. Next of all in the journey is the Iridium Academy arc, and that is to read a book with a school setting. I have gone towards Crave by Tracy Wolf. A lot of people will be happy to see this on my TBR, but it's, yeah, a, a mortal, a lone mortal in an elite school for witches, shapeshifters, and vampires. So yeah, it literally just says, like, on the back here, it's in the school. But I'm told if you really like Twilight, <laughs> you'll like this because it's kind of got like a cheesy kind of like, you know, you'll love it if you dip into your like 14 year old teen loving vampire stage. And you know me, Twilight is another one of my favourite series. So yeah, I'm hoping to really enjoy this and to finally like get onto the bandwagon of it. It's a bit of a chonk, um, but I'm told it is quite a fast paced book. So yeah, I'm really excited to get around to reading this as well. So fingers crossed I do enjoy it. Now onto like kind of like creating my character. So um, the next one is to the background. I have gone towards the urban background, which is a book set in a city or a town. I've gone towards These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong because it's the tree set amongst the streets of Shanghai. And yeah, it's like pretty much mentions streets and cities in the synopsis of this book anyway. Um, so yeah perfect to go towards this one. Then it's the province. I've gone towards Carador and this is to read a book from an ongoing series. So I have gone towards Unravel Me by Tara Murphy which is the sequel to Shatter Me. I am reading this because in March there's a continuation for this series because we did read it for the month of January and anybody who wants to continue on with this but not as part of the book club can do so. So this is the like next book and yeah I'm looking forward to remembering and seeing where the second book went because honestly I cannot remember anything at all about it and it is kind of chunky this one definitely chunkier than the first book so yeah we'll see exactly where this book takes me then there's heritage and then I went with a sky morn and for this the prompt is to read the oldest book owned I have so many books that are on my TBR that's literally the, like the oldest I've gone towards the worst of me by Kate Levan I've owned this for so many years now it's ridiculous it's quite a short read too so yeah hopefully um it'll be a nice quick read for me and then to knock it off the tbr it'll be such a sort of fulfilling feeling and it's also on my unhaul project because it's been on my tbr for so long so yeah it pushes me to get it read too and yeah fingers crossed I end up enjoying this one. So then it's the actual like March readathon, like the weekly sort of that like, there's two prompts. This one is to pick a conduit and the other is for a legacy. So I have gone towards for my conduit um, to read a book from a series and I have gone with Unite Me, which contains Destroy Me and Fracture Me. And this is by Tara Murphy. These are novellas that are in the Shatter Me series. It's a really short book as well, which I think it would be great to read for that week. Um, whether it's like for that week, because like G actually said, like I, you can read it anytime as long as it's before like the next readathon. So yeah, maybe just at some point, like during March, I might get it read. Um, but yeah, nice short and easy going novellas that are based around Warner and yeah it's gets you to know the character warner a lot better so yeah look at what's going into this novella again and then for my legacy i've gone for the king of protection and the prompt of that is to read a middle grade book and i've gone towards the last firefox which is by lee newbury i think this comes out in March anyway um, but this sounds really really good about this boy who's bullied at school and then one day he comes home to find a furry fox and he finds that he's got to be a guardian for this furry fox and it turns out that it's a firefox and it's like yeah got to be protected and stuff and it just sounds so cool and I really really like it and yeah it's just it sounds like a great middle grade it's got like illustrations throughout it which is really cool and yeah i just i really like it so so much so yeah looking forward to giving this a read i'm really really excited to read it and hopefully it's a nice quick and easy read and a really really enjoyable one so there you have you guys that is my iridium <laughs> readathon like for me it would be like two but because i didn't participate last time i've got to read some prompts but like i say i've got until like the next 
readathon to get those up to date and then I'm caught up and happy days so yeah I'm actually really looking forward to like all of these books yes there's quite a lot of books because you can't double up on any prompts so I've literally got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so yeah it's quite a lot already on this bad boy but it's going to be spread over from now until the next readathon so yeah and hopefully i can use this towards my march tbr as well but i hope you guys have enjoyed it and let me know if you're participating in the aurelian magical readathon down below in the comments and also what characters you are and what you've chosen and all that sort of thing and what you're reading have you chosen what you're reading for it but i will also leave g's videos down below if you would like to participate and do exactly the same as me then feel free to and uh, yeah it should be really really fun but yeah, it's nice to be able to join into a readathon all over again along with everybody else because I always feel like really left out, especially when my TV is really, really intimidating. But you know, it's a readathon. Even if we don't get all the books read, it's a readathon. It's reading along with other people and it's just, you know, to me it's fun. So there is that. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. All of my social media links are linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me as well, including like like readathons and all that sort of stuff and yeah keep smiling keep reading and be happy most importantly please please do stay safe my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye